Now that our little detour with that Tower of Crows is out of the way, it's time for the second third of the game proper, starting with Veros Woods. So it seems Pan has saved Gabriel once more, his arrival most fortuitous. Gabriel now enters the outskirts of the vampire's territory. A cold winter has gripped this land for centuries, driving out the inhabitants to warmer climes. Those stubborn enough to stay have contended with the cold death that visits them each and every night, taking their loved ones away forever. The vampires thrive in the cold and terrorize the living who crave warmth and companionship. This night a warrior will come, a knight in shining armor with death at his side. He comes for you, creatures of the night. And here we go, guys. This is when I would say the game starts to quote-unquote feel like Castlevania. Right on the outskirts of the vampire's territory, and right before a certain village as well. Oh, what, Pan? No excuse about how you can't go any further because of a dark influence or something like that. Alright, fine. See if I care, I don't need you. I've gotten this far without you. It's perfectly fine. Oh, great, what are these things? All the freaking goblins. Frost goblins this time, I guess. I don't want to miss the big shiny over here, of course. Just more fairies? I'll take them. Fairies did prove to be quite useful whenever we used them earlier in that crow tower, so... Obviously, I was missing out whenever I said that I didn't, uh... Use them previously. Let's go ahead and try dashing down this. What do we got? Ooh. I'll take it. Full crystal? Or at least one piece of a crystal. Definitely gotta keep that in mind for later. And to top it off, a life expansion. What a great little secret area here at the beginning of this area. Can't ask for a whole lot more than that. Yeah, if you're gonna max out anything, I would say go ahead and max out that life bar. <laughs> like, if you didn't want to go back and get every single gem in the game, hey, understandable, but at least try to get that life, because it starts pretty low, you know? And, oh, come on. I, I, already? Dude, we just went through this. Stupid chupacabra. Just gonna hound me for the rest of the game. Ah, oh, great. Well, at least I know where you are. I believe he materialized over the year, so yep. I know where to go as soon as we're done here. I guess we just kill every single one in this tiny village before we go any further. <laughs> Come on, dude. Oh! Is another one down? Yeah, I see you bouncing around out there. I'll get to you as soon as I'm done over here. Unless this is one of those uh, infinitely spawning situations, which it definitely could be. Don't think I need you guys' grenades for anything, though. Okay, hey, where are you, Chupacabra? I saw you over here. Game. If, you're, if you're just gonna send these at me non-stop, just tell me, and I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and cut my losses while I can. Oh, and I did get the upgrade here. Boom! Okay, that actually worked out a whole lot better than I thought it would. Maybe because I had already done a crap ton of damage, but still. That was pretty freaking impressive. Okay, where'd you go? Through there? Well, I see an arc right there, but I don't need any health at the moment. There it is! Come here! I think I'm going to be breaking down these things as I go. Well, I can't because I don't have my medallions. <laughs> what am I talking about? I don't have any of my abilities. Okay, where are you? Stupid little hobgoblin. Now, that looks like something we will need to get grenades to break down. So I believe we get them by grabbing them, correct? Okay, we messed up that somehow. There we go. Where's the grenade? Oh my god, okay, so not a grenade, it's the giant pig monster. Straight out of Twilight Princess, gotcha, okay, fine. Let's go ahead and try this co- oh! Stop it, let's try this again. Boom! A big hit, I mean, it's a big hit that does a lot of damage, I feel like. 
in a pretty wide radius, so... So you need to watch out whenever this thing kind of rears up to charge. Just like that. Okay, how many hits can you take, pig man? It's not really a pig man, I guess it's just a pig. It can deal a lot of damage, though. Oh, God. <laughs> Maybe not be right up next to the tusks. God, how much damage can you take, dude? You need to go into light magic mode. Well, I can't, because the Chupacabra again! But you can see this is... This is really annoying me. God, I've never seen a pig take so many hits. This thing's gonna freaking kill me. Do I need to break out the fairies, maybe? I did just get all these fairies. Let's try one of them. There we go. God, that was nasty. Aim the Warthog in the direction you wish to go, then let him do the rest. So get, just get a charging start, and here we go. <laughs> oh, we got a piece of it, because we're going to have to do it multiple times. Come on, let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Gonna bring this thing with me? Hey, come here! Don't you mock me. Okay, well, uh, now let's just kill this thing so I can get all my health back. I am almost dead, and with no way to restore my HP. There have been numerous sightings of chupacabras in this region. This creature is not known to be deadly or malicious, merely a nuisance. I must get word back to the Brotherhood to advise my comrades to carry as much fairy blossom as they can. It is written that chupacabras are fascinated by anything to do with fairies, and the Blossom is a good tactic to use to distract the pesky creature while retrieving anything that it may have stolen. Oh, I see! I, I had forgotten that. So, a fairy will distract it to where I can just grab it? Is that what that was saying? Okay. I don't know if that'll allow me to get my equipment back faster or not, but... Okay, can I actually jump up here, or is that just something if I... Okay, we probably have to go the opposite direction, and if I mess up that jump... It's gonna send me back there. Yeah. So this is the wrong way, apparently. Maybe I missed something back there. Regardless, I'm gonna try to take down all these guys first. I still think that this way might actually, like, curve around and allow us to go where we need to go. Is that right? No, this is definitely the wrong way. 100% the wrong way. I can't even make use of that to get through that barrier. Yeah, yeah, we're just going in circles now. Ugh, man. Again, least favorite segments of the game. Okay, so yeah, couldn't go that way. Couldn't go this way over here. Although I'm gonna have to come back here once I have the medallions just to check out what's going on here. Okay, let's try this again. It was this area right here where I went wrong. Yeah, yeah, right here. What am I doing here? Am I, is there a grapple point that I'm missing? Wait, I see him up there. Yeah, so how... How do I get up? Oh. <laughs> oh, man, that is slightly annoying. Okay. Blind you oh, and I could be blind for long. In fact, you're gonna be the one that's blind if I have my way with you, because I'm gonna stab your freaking eye out. Okay, here. Go get him, fairy. Nice, okay. And you're mine. Okay, good stuff. Let's check out this before we go any further. I had been stocking up on dark crystals as they were very useful in combat. I stumbled upon an old man who seemed bewildered and senile, yet there appeared to be a keen intelligence in his eyes. He claimed he was a friend and asked if I had found the relics he had left for us. I told him I didn't understand. He said he would pray for me and suddenly scurried off into the night. What did he mean by relics? Was that Gandalfi? By any chance? May have been. The guy that created the combat cross and all these relics we've been finding. I was under the impression that he was kind of long since dead though, so I, I don't know. I don't remember. I don't think Gandalfi's in any of these games. <laughs> not from what I remember at least. Although full disclosure guys, I've not actually played Lords of Shadow 2 all the way through. 
Um, not because I played it and I absolutely hated it, more just I, I played it, it didn't grab me at all, and that was after playing Lords of Shadow 1 and, um... Uh, Mirror of Fate, which is kind of the the Interquill game. It's not it's not really fair to say Interquill because it came out second, but it's, it's more of the bridge between one and two, I should say. But um, I I couldn't really tell you why I never really finished the Lords of Shadow two. I didn't think it, again it was horrendously bad, just maybe thoroughly uninteresting. Yeah, I'll grab that and the last piece of this crystal here. We have a full one now. Nice. So I'm pretty much gonna save those for like the really difficult encounters. Not so much as like the Lords of Shadow boss fights, but just like really big bosses that we're gonna have to deal with. Okay, let's go again. Yeah, these two segments here are very easily missed. And I have a full crystal already, so that's not gonna be of any help, but... I'll take that. Okay. <laughs> so after coming around here for the third time, since I got mixed up the first time, I believe we can finally go forward. At least now I can dash through here, knowing that, uh... I have already combed this area quite thoroughly. In the Winter Wonderland, though apparently it's very miserable to live here, because number one, it never gets warm, eternal winter and all that jazz. And number two, <laughs> the vampires come and just steal up your loved ones, apparently. <laughs> Which, that's just fun. What do we get? We are very close to Weigel here, and just beyond is the Vampire Castle. One must seek shelter at night from possible attack. The weather is very cold, and sending messages to the Brotherhood is proving difficult. Last night I received a communication that we are to meet in Weigel Village for an assault on the Vampire Stronghold. God help me, but I am afraid of becoming one of those blood-sucking creatures. Uh, so it would seem that at least among the Brotherhood it's well known that, uh, the Vampires will turn you into one of them if given the chance. And there it is, guys. <laughs> the castle. I don't know about you, but like I said, that looks like a Castlevania castle to me. It's about to start feeling a whole lot like what you would expect a Castlevania game to feel like. Let's see what we got here. So I did comb over these moves to try to get rid of all the exclamation points, just so I can tell whenever the chainsaw has an upgrade to it. And I think it's gonna happen pretty soon, I remember it happening in the second third of the game here, so... Here we go, ah... Uh, this is probably this my favorite part of the game. This village is one of the last vestiges of human civilization left in this place of death and cold. It lies not far from the Vampire's Castle, our next objective. I have some matters to attend to here, matters that could spoil our plans. I will deal with them and try to rendezvous with Gabriel later. He has not slept in days, not since the girl. The pain is etched on his face still, but in his soul only hatred drives him. We will not speak of it. He must not know I have seen everything, that I have followed him this far. Well, that sounds a little ominous, Zobek. I mean, yeah. So just in case you were wondering, it's not the fact that Zobek is kind of the narrator of the game. He has been watching Gabriel this entire time, no doubt wanting to know something, so... Okay, can I get in here? Let's go ahead and try it. That didn't work. Maybe try the Falcon Punch? Oh, I'm all out of energy now, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Tear down the wall? What does that mean? Maybe did I dash in the wrong direction? That's kind of discouraging. At least it's at the beginning of the level, so I can just very easily get it. But here we go, guys. The traditional village before the Vampire Castle. This is a notion that I believe started in Rondo of Blood? I think so. Maybe Dracula's Curse? Don't really remember. It is a thing, though. Reinforcements sent by the Brotherhood should arrive soon, but... Even then, I fear there won't be enough of us to hold against these terrible creatures. Brother Federico informs me that fairies combined with light magic can be useful against the blood-sucking devils. The problem is, where does one find fairies? Yeah, so that's something to keep in mind. Vampires are weak against those light-infused fairies that I have uh, inadvertently used before, so... But I mean, we're right outside the vampire castle. Is it finally time? Seems like the locals aren't too thrilled to have me here.
Thank God that you are still among the living, my friend. The Lycan Lord has been defeated. I have his power. What happened here? I congratulate you on your victory. But these fellows were not so fortunate. Word has spread of our quest. The vampire clan have slaughtered this entire village. And now, they are expecting us. That abbey. I am told the abbot possesses an ancient relic that harnesses the power of the sun. It is said to be capable of burning vampires and reducing them to ashes. That relic protects the abbey and all who take refuge there. But the abbot has barricaded himself inside and filled the building with deadly traps to deter visitors. After years of isolation, some say he has been driven quite mad. He resides up there, in the tallest of the towers. If we could persuade him to give the relic to us, it would give us a tremendous advantage over the vampires. But it won't be easy. Mad or not, damn him for not protecting his people. Ghouls! Oh, that's disgusting. It looks like they get particularly strong whenever they consume one another. So what we have to do, I believe, is I gotta falcon punch that thing back. Now, maybe I need to have the shadow power in order to do it. Thankfully, we do have Zobak finding alongside us. Of course, I don't have any shower shadow power because I wasted it all at the beginning trying to open that little pathway, but... Maybe I d I'm not able to um, push that thing back over the grave until I've fought these things for a little bit. Because if I remember correctly, uh, these things will just keep coming as an unlimited enemy. They will return if we don't block the hole. Well, that didn't work. Maybe I have to uh, grab onto it. There we go. That's what we got to do. Help me, Zobek. We can only knock down the statue if we do it together. I'm coming. And with a little bit of teamwork, seems that's how we do this. And there we go, no more ghouls. Good stuff, good stuff, alright. Next one is gonna be right here, looks like. Not that one. Let's concentrate on stopping the ghouls from coming out. Back, you demons! Ah, uh, there's another one right here, I don't see. Let's see, and where's the statue? Aha, right there. So looks like that one's gonna take a little bit more work to seal up. I can just dodge away for the time being, though. Sure, we can do it. Let's go ahead and try this again. I really like that. Seems to cause a bit of recoil right there, which is good. Let's go ahead and get all that shadow magic back. Now that I am getting all these power orbs. Oh god, he's got the blue barf attack. Ew. Gabriel, if that statue were closer to the hole, we could cover it as we did before. Gabriel, if that statue Maybe now I gotta fucking the hole, punch. We could cover it as we did before. There we go. That's what I was thinking of. Alright, let's call Zobek. Zobek, help me knock down the statue. Hold on, I'm coming. And here we go. Oh crap, no 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 no. Okay. Boy, that was really close. Very close to having to deal with a whole nother wave of these guys before I was able to do that again. I was just trying to hear Patrick Stewart taunt enemies. Is there another one? Oh yeah, it's over there, the last one. I also feel like that move right there, you know, the concurrent uh, long range attack, actually does a really good job filling this gauge too. Kind of like the chainsaw is going to be whenever we get that fully upgraded. I actually get some more juice with it. Yeah, it knocks a whole lot out of him, for sure. This is a lot of guys to deal with concurrently in one place, I guess. So. so, yeah, we have to activate the light magic in order to not be poisoned anymore. So I know what you must be thinking. Like, what happens if you get poisoned and you don't have any light magic? Uh, sucks to suck! That's what happens. <laughs> You're gonna be taking a hit, so get over it. Okay, let's back up and not get poisoned this time if I can help it. 
And that should be the last hit. God, they're just so strong when they power with like that. Okay. Gabriel, if that oh crap, we got the Falcon Punch this one again. Oh, are you kidding me? Before. Crap. Come on. Alright. No, wait, wrong, wrong one. Oh! Get my controls mixed up here. Okay, don't think I'm gonna have enough time here, but... I need your help with the statue, Zobek. Gonna As try. Come on! Oh god. Ah! Yep, it was as I feared. Alright, so we're gonna have to deal with a whole other wave right here. Oh god, that's a lot of them. And then we'll be able to do this. And there we go, we got it that time. And it also has conveniently led to a way out. So we have before we head there though. A Shadow Magic expansion. Kinda weird to have more shadow magic than light magic at the moment, but hey, what are you gonna do? Can we get out of here easily now? Smash through the door. I'm trying, man. Oh wait, wasn't there a energy refill over here? Oh yeah, that's right, so I can get all my light magic back. Smash down the door, then come back here. Cause I think I've been using like the wrong technique to get through stuff like this. Okay, let's start dashing again. Yep, that did it, okay. So let's go back, get that magic, restore our health, uh, and then our adventure with Zobek by our side continues. Hey, what a treat to actually have someone along with us this time. <laughs>